This is OWC's Thunderbolt Go dock, and I briefly got to check it out a couple of months ago back at CES 2023, but now I have one in-house, and I've been using it for the last few weeks, and so I wanted to give you a brief look and my overall thoughts on this new dock from OWC. So one of the best things about this new dock is that the power supply is built into the dock, meaning all I need is this Thunderbolt cable and this very small, super easy to carry around power cable. No more heavy power bricks making things complicated. And that's huge because, well, it's called the Go Dock for a reason. While I will most likely be using this as a stationary desktop dock for like 80% of my work, when I'm on the go, I can easily just take this with me and expand to all the ports that I might need with my MacBook Pro and expand its capabilities whenever I need to. The design is sleek, modern, and familiar. I feel like OWC has been sticking with this sort of industrial design for its external drives and docks for a little bit now, and so it has that really sturdy look and feel to it. On the front, you have a USB-C and Type-A port, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and an SD card slot, which, by the way, shout out to OWC for also sending along these new Atlas SD cards. I've been using these over the last few weeks as well and loving the speed and compatibility with my cameras. It's not sponsored or anything, I just wanted to briefly mention that. On the right side of the dock, you have your main 90 watt USB-C port to connect this dock to your Mac, and on the back, you get two additional Thunderbolt 4 ports, one HDMI, Ethernet and two USB type A ports. I forgot to mention the side USB C port is also a Thunderbolt 4 port as well. This allows for maximum flexibility and connectivity, giving users the ability to connect one 8K display if you want to, or two 4K monitors, one large desktop RAID storage, or external SSDs when on the go. Obviously, you can read and write to SD cards, you can charge your laptop, etc. Whatever the case may be, you can do so with this dock. It's honestly everything you'd love to have on a desktop dock, but with the convenience of being a bit more portable. And just one thing to note about the power supply being inside, if you are worried about everything getting too hot, obviously this design, you can tell, just looks like it's going to do an excellent job, and it does, of heat dissipation with all of these perforations and things, so I haven't had a problem when it comes to heat. So yeah, I think this is a fantastic option for those who want a great Thunderbolt 4 dock that can also be easily taken on the road. I'd highly recommend it. I know the price looks like a bit of a bummer because it is $349, but honestly, if you do like five seconds of research on other Thunderbolt 4 docks, you'll know that there aren't a lot of them, there aren't a lot that can do what this does, and they're all priced similarly around $349 or $399. And so, with that, you do at least get OWC's quality and dependability. But of course, I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on this dock? Do you have a better alternative? Maybe we can check that out. Go ahead and let me know in those comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.